My name is Michelle Harton and I'm an artist from Carvin and uh, I live in Kilnalek where I have my studio um, in my home. I've painted all of my life, um, even when I had lots of other careers over the years. Uh, painting was always something that I, I wanted to do and if, if I wasn't painting, I was thinking about painting, um, especially if I'd go to a gallery and I'd see a piece that I really loved. It did, just make me want to paint. I always wanted to do art classes during the summer when I was in school or one of my teachers also used to do art classes in the evening and I used to stay there. Another artist actually in Cavan, Melda Bradley. So I have those memories from, from when I was very young that that's what I wanted to do and that when I would paint it was kind of that the rest of the world would would drift away. I think it's, it's the only thing that I do that makes my mind go quiet you know even though you're you're obviously you're thinking about the painting and um, you know your brain is kind of trying to figure out what goes where and that color goes where but it's it's something that you're completely you know focused on like I find that my mind doesn't go anywhere else when I'm really into a painting and I suppose that's where the addiction that lies in painting is, for me anyway, when I think about why do I, I paint, it's there's, there's a, a buzz or a feeling that I've gotten from painting when a painting is going very well or when you finish a piece that you're really proud of, that I, I haven't got that feeling anywhere else. Um, and that feeling doesn't come with every painting. You know, you could go weeks sometimes months uh, before you might get that feeling again. But I suppose, I think a lot of painters were addicts, <laughs> were addicts for that feeling. You're always chasing the next best painting or, or that feeling. But I, I think you can get that feeling too when, when you look at art. I know I felt that myself when I see a painting that I love in a gallery and I just want to keep looking at it. it it's that feeling and I, I don't know where else to get that feeling. I usually don't go into a piece with with a, an idea in mind so I start very abstractly and then um, I see what images are in the piece um, be it animals or a landscape which is a lot of the work that I've been doing lately or I just finished a large large body over the last year of work uh, based on the folklore of Korea. With that I had spent months reading stories about Korean folklore. So all those stories were in my mind. So when I would look at the abstract picture, I was kind of seeing would that artwork remind me of any of the stories? And then I would develop it from there. But I feel that my paintings always turn out better if I don't go into them with a preconceived idea. I, I kind of let the paint show me the way. They seem to connect, have really connected with the work over there, which is lovely to see, to go to a, a, a different culture, because obviously with, uh, I'm dealing with their folklore, and I was afraid, you know, maybe I would interpret it badly or in a way that they, they might find offensive. You know, it's, it's difficult when you're dealing with another culture that you don't really know about. Folklore in general is, is something I'm really uh, interested in, and I have done a, a I did in the past a big collection of folklore uh, based on um, the folklore of Cavan um, with another Cavan artist, Jackie O'Neill, and we did a joint exhibition where we interpreted different folklore stories from Cavan that we had gathered over the space of about six months. I think I have a long way to go. I think I have a lot of learning to do. I think, um, I think my art has a lot long way to develop, um, but. It's, it's nice, uh, you know, to, to start to see the work being appreciated, I guess, in when I see it, that I can bring it to another country and, and you know, that they put on these really big exhibitions for me. I feel like at least I, I, I'm starting to get somewhere, if that makes sense. I find it very hard to judge my own work. Um, to be honest, a lot of the times, sometimes a painting I'll think is not finished or not ready or that'll be the first one that somebody wants to buy. So I, I find that very interesting. Um, an artist said to me years ago, like you need to get the hundred bad ones out of the way before the good ones start coming. And I think that's a really good thing for people who are starting art to remember because like you wouldn't expect somebody to suddenly start playing basketball and be a pro basketball player. 
you know, or any sport. Like it, but for some reason with art, you seem to think instantly you're supposed to be good at it. I mean, it's there's people who go to school for years to train, you know, to be a painter, to be a, a realist painter or an abstract painter. Like there's so much to learn. And I think then once you're you've started to learn and you start to feel like it, it's, it feels that you feel a bit more confident with it. A good way is to start showing your stuff on Instagram because your family and friends might not always be the best person to, to show. If they're not into art or they don't understand art, you're asking the wrong people. Just keep painting, then show it when you feel a little bit more confident. But I think there's, I think probably the best artists that are out there, a lot of them are the ones who don't show their work. It tends to be the people who are naturally confident who show their work don't have to be the perfect realist painter. It's, it's more about how people connect with the work, however abstract or strange or mysterious it, it might, might look. And it's hard to learn. It's hard when you learn very realistic painting, um, like anything when you're learning. But then once you've learned it, you can bring it in. And, and I guess I bring in all the things I've learned that were hard to learn, but now it's really paying off because I can mix my abstract with my realism and, and create, you know, what I feel are, are different and kind of unusual pieces that I wouldn't have if I hadn't gone through that hard learning process.